Greetings, this is Bonnie Culinary, and I'm in one of my favorite places, which is in the food prep um, area. And so this is one of my favorite places to be. Um, over the years, I've had many um, sister friends um, say to me, I would invite them over um, and just, you know, feed folks and they taste while I'm preparing food because that's what I love to do. And um, so many people have told me like, wow, I wish I could have recorded um, our conversation because I learned so much and I'm just sharing um, basically uh, what has been passed down um, to me from my grandma Lou and um, all the things I've studied and just my love um, for food. So anyhow, you know, I'm always just, uh, it's like a meditation, so I'm always pondering things while I'm here in the food prep area. And um, right now, so you can just get a glimpse of um, what I'm doing, um, creating some stuff and I have a bunch of um, plantains over here that I'm going to be uh, trimming off. But anyway, I just got to thinking about um, colors, right? And somebody that used to be um, a city girl, um, I used to, and someone that worked uh, in one of the higher end gyms as a personal trainer, I used to wear a lot, a lot of black. A whole lot of black, you know? Especially I'm riding my bicycle, you usually have um, bags of groceries, usually two to three bags on each side of groceries, and I've got a knapsack on my back with fitness equipment, my iPad, you know, and my phone, plus food. So usually people would see me around town um, on my bicycle with all the stuff on my back and my um, handlebar. So I wore a lot of black because if it's raining, you know, everything splashes on you and, it, you know, there's sneakers and sneaker prints and a lot of times I would have to get on the floor to demo um, exercises. So you get used to wearing a lot of black, which is like a New York thing, you know, either suits or, you know, um, just a lot of black. And uh, since being in Central America, I fall in love with um, color and giving uh, myself permission to um, enjoy wearing a lot more um, color. Let me grab a bowl down here. For my scraps. So I've learned to um, just appreciate a lot more uh, color, right? So I'm really loving um, pink and yellows and um, all different shades of pinks and um, greens and some blues. I'm just really feeling so much color and I find that they really um, do affect your mood. You know, I see a lot. I have a little small humble garden over here to supplement um, what I get from the market and to just see the flowers that open at a certain time of the day and then they close. Like the okra right now has flowers and the potato greens have flowers and some of these other plants. Um, Cerise has flowers on it. So um, I mean, I'm just really feeling flowers. I find that they really live in your mood. Um, you know, black has its place too because black is the soil, right? But there's so many things, even in terms of the insects that are coming um, out of the ground, all these different colors. And then also, of course, um, food has so much color in it. It makes um, food so attractive. So I used to like uh, to say, um, I like to have Bob Marley on my plate, right? The red, gold, and the green on my plate. So how do you feel about um, colors? Do you, you wear a lot of colors? Do you find that colors um, affect your mood? Because I definitely do. You know, I definitely find that it makes a plate of food more attractive. And I think that um, I found that the food should be pretty. You know, that when I open up my container and folks are like, yeah, where'd you get that? I'm like, I, I got it at, you know, my own, you know, cafe. Uh, I got it at my own personal uh, cafe. Um, I'm making my own food and I also extern um, from a culinary school in one of the um, top restaurants in New York and it was so much attention was put to um, the garnishing and the presentation of the plates. So I really feel like I want to have that uh, high-end five-star um, experience every day. I mean, why not? Um, that's one of the things that keeps me passionate and excited about um, the food that I'm eating. So how do you feel about color? Do you include um, color um, on your plate? Do you wear a lot of color? Um, does it excite you? You know, also this is the first time I've ever put anything in my ears, not ever, but in several years, because I really went through a phase of just not liking anything on me. Quite often, you know, I have some uh, nice signature pieces of jewelry, but quite often I just don't feel like putting anything on my skin, on my hair, on my person. I just want to um, breathe and feel pretty. So let me know how you feel about um, color on your plate, uh, how you feel, does color affect your moods? Um, 
drop your um, <laughs> share in, in the comments below. Please more, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video and enjoy all things having to do with natural beauty, natural fitness that does not require you to go to the gym if you're busy and a mother, a um, busy person like me, and uh, whole living foods, fresh foods, and fitness. See you soon. I noticed it growing and just let it flourish instead of pulling it. So look how there's a couple of different varieties of purslane that have um, slightly different colors in the room. But this one, when I, once I let it grow, um, it just went wild. So that's why some people consider it, um, or it's considered a weed, because it can, it's one of those things that can grow and take over all the different things in your garden. So I'm going to let it grow because I used to pay for this at the food co-op. 
And this is an example of a wild cactus weed, or one of those like, you know, old school original um, plants that haven't been um, GMO'd inside of, and totally manipulated inside of a laboratory. So it tastes um, pleasant. It doesn't have any bite to it like arugula. Um, it has kind of, it has kind of like a, a very citrusy taste, light and it's pleasant. The texture, and when you bite into it, it has a little bit of um, kind of mucilage, very light, kind of like an okra. Um,